Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do another Strength and Wisdom Tarot adventure. Um, this is a covered bridge that was, um, that I did personally. It's in Plymouth, New Hampshire. Uh, I've heard from numerous people that, you know, the thing is that they see somebody on the bridge. Uh, usually a woman. Um, there's no history that I know of, of anyone committing suicide or, you know, any tragic accident, at least not you know, it's documented. So I'm um, going to show you the video and hopefully you can see it well. And then we'll draw cards. It's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot here doing another adventure. Today I am at so you can see the that Smith Bridge in Plymouth, New Hampshire. Gorgeous, huh? This bridge was built. Let's see what the sign says. 1850 by a man from Littleton and it cost about $2,700. Later on when they redid the uh, the bridge to make it a two lane bridge, because before I guess it was only one uh, lane bridge, then it cost them over three million. Now, as beautiful as it is, it's got a reputation. It's haunted. Oh, I guess there's people playing in the river down there. People uh, swear that they see somebody, like, on the bridge where they're going through. Wow. And they say usually it's a woman. So, I haven't heard any of her history. But all I know is that they, they've seen people. Or at least a woman standing either inside the bridge or outside the bridge right here where we are. But she's in this area. No history that I know or are aware of that, you know, she died or got in an accident or what her connection is. But we're going to find out. So let's go draw some cards. It's <laughs> doing with the tarot. Stop that. Are you doing enough? So, big, beautiful bridge. But the original bridge was back in, what did I say, 1850. So anywhere between then and now, if there was something tragic that happened, it's keeping uh, this woman, um, various people who are not connected with each other, you know, at different times, different places, saw they saw, saw, they saw a woman that is roughly about 30s, early 30s maybe, and... Uh, Long hair, but put up. So, um, let's draw some cards. Let's see what the energy is here. I'll use the steampunk. Okay. Regards to the woman on the bridge, the Smith Bridge. Hmm. I had the Three of Pentacles. Wow. But in reverse. Now, in the upright, this is being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts, being recognized for that great person that, you know, perhaps she was. In the reverse, it's like being another face in the crowd. I seem to think with the era that uh, these cards are made in, might fit the 1800s, 1850-ish, something like that. This could have been a third party. That she was the one, maybe someone picked. In the reverse, it's like being on the face in the crowd, not even being recognized, you know, for the great attributes that she could have had. Wow. Well, the woman on the bridge. The woman on the Smith Bridge. Now we have four of cups here. Here's a daydreaming fantasizing card. Kind of funny. Three cups, three here. You know, this is a daydreaming fantasizing card. It could be a card of contemplation. If she wasn't the one that was chosen, or maybe there was two women involved. This is somebody who was thinking about doing something about it. It could also be perhaps a man deciding between two women. 
the person that did not get picked is definitely, I think, I feel, is the one that gets, or is hanging around the bridge. Moving on the bridge. Oh. This was a marriage. You get the four of wands here. And this is something that's built on higher ground. Or built on the right reasons. The beginning of your castle. And then we have the hair font. You know, somebody having a moral standard. We don't bend or lower for anyone. Someone who does things by the books, does things correctly. Maybe she was a Taurus or a Capricorn. This is a Taurus card, though. Or Virgo. Could have been Earth. She might have been a teacher. Maybe in a church. Hmm. A moral standard. Hmm. Yeah, the Virgo card. We get the Hermit, but in reverse. Now we have the card here of thinking and contemplating, playing and fantasizing. Now you have the seeker of knowledge here. He doesn't rely on everybody else. He finds out, you know, info on them for himself. That way he knows it to be true. This is about taking that knowledge. And using it, coming out of isolation and seclusion. This could have been her calling out her husband, knowing that she knows there's someone else. This could be thinking about how to approach, because this is about a marriage. And doing the right thing. I feel that she found out on her own. Hmm. A woman on the bridge. A woman on the bridge. Hmm. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The slowest one of all. The, the messenger of money. And that's right under the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So it could have been that, you know, either somebody was paid to stay quiet. Or just to give money to, just, you know, to make things okay. Hmm. I feel that maybe it was the other person that somebody was giving a little bit of, you know, cash to on the side. Hush money. Hmm. You get the seven of pentacles, the investment card right under the four of cups. Now here's, you know, contemplating who, who you're going to invest in. Your time, your energy, your love. But this is somebody, it could even been somebody in their study, you know. The husband. Or the significant other, however it was. Wondering who they're going to give their time and energy to. Stay in a marriage or go with a side piece. Hmm. Taking it back and taking back a few steps and looking at the whole situation and wondering which direction to go into. Wow. This very easily could have been, you know, three people involved and perhaps he decided to stay in a marriage and the side piece didn't want the money. Wanted a relationship, wanted a marriage maybe. There's the, uh, the clarifier. Now you get the three of cups. Rejoicing, celebrating. Reuniting. And it's right on the marriage card. So perhaps somebody, you know, stepped out and had an affair. 
but then didn't want that anymore, wanted to stay in a marriage, tried to reunite. And again, you know, the three people here getting back together. Oh. Yeah, definitely, because somebody got left out in the cold. You know, this is feeling abandoned, alone. Now, this one has a child. So maybe there was a child involved. But somebody got left or abandoned. Perhaps married some other, someone else? I think it's an affair. I feel it's an affair. Because he had to choose. Maybe somebody did the morally right thing, you know, based on, you know, what their family and everything, everybody else would think. So they chose to stay in a marriage and then somebody, you know, was left out in the cold. I think somebody did go back to their wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ten of swords. Feeling backstabbed, lied to, cheated on, betrayed. Right under the the hermit in reverse. Yeah, somebody would went on with someone else. It's a charity here. I think somebody found out about somebody cheating on them. Probably a cheating husband. And I think that to save face, they chose to stay in a marriage. And it left somebody out on the outs. Like, I feel like high and dry. I think somebody was devastated. Could have been the wife. Could have been the other one. Could have been Ixnade. But I do feel like he stayed in the marriage. He chose the wife. Because of the reuniting card with the marriage card. And moving forward. And there's a juggling. There's a contemplation. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? kind of funny because after you know the juggling here's truth and clarity that comes in somebody got the chance to either hear the truth know the truth or speak the truth let's be on it somebody was pregnant got the empress card and the card that you have after this is death Wow. <laughs> Death lovers. So I think the the one that didn't get chosen. The one that was pregnant after hearing the truth. And this guy probably didn't even care. He stayed in the marriage. I think she ended it. And I get the overwhelming feeling that, you know, she had high hopes that they were going to be a family, they were going to be together. Probably thought that, you know, he was going to leave his wife. And it was this woman, this woman that's on the bridge. That was left on the outs. I think this has cut someone so deep. There was no coming back from it. Wow. Wow. So that's probably why she's hanging around the bridge. Something happened there and I think it was the end. Because with the Ten of Swords, the end of a cycle and then death here.
She didn't want to be alone, I guess. Wow. So, folks, that is what I have for you. Um, very interesting. If anybody has an interesting story or a place, you know, in your hometown or just, you know, around, you know, make a short video and send it to me. I will gladly, you know, draw cards on it and see what the energy is. So, folks, till then, on to the next adventure.